Hey everyone, today's video is on some powdered SPF sunscreen powders or powder with sunscreen in them. So I have three here. Um, first one is going to be Physician's Formula, which is a translucent color. Uh, second one is gonna be Mineral Fusion, which is a brush. And then this other one, which is Caridium which is also um, compact like the physician's formula so first off physician's formula i hated it completely i don't think i'll ever use this um again <laughs> so i've tried it several times and it just puts such a bad white cast on um, your face so you can tell that there is um, definitely some SPF in it. I guess that's good, but it just, I, I wore it on top of sunscreen and because I just don't feel like powder alone is ever enough. Like you need to wear regular sunscreen underneath because the amount of sunscreen that you actually need on your face, this would, it would be an incredible amount of powder. So th this to me was um, just having the added protection and controlling the shine of my SPF, but also be able to like reapply it during the day often and just have a little bit of coverage. This, by the way, is a 30 SPF um, and is a mineral powder. So it has 15% titanium dioxide and 10% zinc oxide. Um, so yeah, again, it, so it came in this little cute, I, there is a sponge, I lost it. So there's a sponge that comes underneath, but again, terrible terrible white cast um and so i did not like this whatsoever you'll see other reviews out there too where people have the same exact complaints so i would not recommend this um second is again this mineral fusion so this is also an spf 30 um 17.3 titanium dioxide and 20 percent zinc oxide so really great coverage as far as the zinc and titanium percentages um and i really wanted to like this because it just seems really convenient right like you have this brush already and you just put it on your face but and again you'll see this in other reviews so first of all this is not a very dense brush it's very loose and when putting it on your face, you just didn't know how much was actually getting on my face. And in another review that I watched, she actually took the powder out so that she could see um, how much powder was going on her face. Cause I felt like I was like brushing it on my face a million times before I felt like it was actually like controlling any sort of shine or doing, helping with, um, you know any oiliness from my sunscreen i just i couldn't tell at all and so the recommendation was to take that out of here and put it in something and then use a different brush which completely defeats the purpose of this and so um i am returning it but again really great concept i know there's a lot of other um sunscreens powder sunscreens that are in this kind of packaging and i just don't see like even the derma e which somebody else reviewed had the same complaint like they just didn't know how much was being put on their face and had to put it in a different um take the powder out and use a different brush again just defeats the purpose and so um i really wished i would have liked this but um, i am going to be returning this one and my third one is I think it's a Korean brand. So it's Caridium. I, I did buy all of these on Amazon. So they are all available on Amazon. I really, really like this one. So um, it is an SPF 50 and it has a PA rating. If you are familiar, that's what in Asian countries, they use a PA rating and it goes from one plus to four, four being the highest protection, of course. Uh, this one had three pluses, and so I just feel like that was really good protection um, that could go on top of my sunscreen. And so it does come with a mirror, this little um, sponge, like kind of like a sponge pad, which is really nice and soft. And then it has like this plastic to protect this sponge from like always being on top of the powder, and then the powder itself. Now, this only comes in two colors and it's pretty light. So this one was, 
actually the darkest color. So it's like number 21, number 23. Um, and this 23 worked for my skin tone, which I am on the lighter side of, I say, Asian skin. Um, but it worked just fine for me. It didn't give a white cast, maybe a tiny, tiny bit, but super un like hardly noticeable that I definitely will be using this um, on top of my sunscreen and using it to apply. If you use the sponge, it's more like of a thicker coverage versus if I just wanted a light coverage, I've been using um, just like a makeup brush and that works out really well also. And it's very inexpensive. I think it was like $15. Um, and with that 50 SPF, I thought it was really great. Um, and because it's a, like a Korean brand with the PA, I don't know if this is like mineral or chemical or not. Um, I, it's been working well with my chemical sunscreen, which is what I use. Uh, the one thing is there is a fragrance. It isn't overpowering. I only noticed it when uh, the brush was like, or the sponge was like next to my nose and I was like, huh, there's a, there's a fragrance there. So it is a small fragrance um, to it, but it's definitely not overpowering. So again, I definitely would recommend this one if you just wanted to like some powder with SPF in it and do some touch up. Don't like this one because you just don't know how much you're putting on. And then this one had the horrible white cast. So yeah, I hope this helps with your buying decision and thanks a lot. Bye.